Lovely viewers, welcome once again to Rona360. If it is the arts, culture, and TV, then welcome home. If today is your first time, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we post a video. Also, comment in the comment section so that we can get interactive. Now, this is a breaking news from the Menshia Palace. If you are ready, let's go. Yes, news reaching Rona 360 is that Otunfo or Osei Tutu Abebio, the king of the Ashanti Empire, the one who sits on the leopard skin, the one who sits on the lion skin, the one who sits on the puma skin, the owner of the porcupine, has destroyed Nana Kwekudia the third, the Abuantem Hene. Abuantem is a community in the Ashanti kingdom, and the chief of, of that community has been destroyed. You know, in the space of some few months, Otunfo or say to Abibio, Nana Unkwaso, long live the, the, the king. He has destroyed quite a number of chiefs because of some of the evils that they have done. You see, the Akan or the Ashanti kingdom is bounded by commitment, rules, and an oath of allegiance. All land in the Ashanti kingdom belongs to Otunfo, the king of the kingdom. And so, any chief is just a caretaker. Any chief is just representing. It's, it's like an ambassador of the king of Ashanti. This is not something that is uh, modern. This dates back to several years ago when various families came together, sworn an oath of allegiance and agreed that this thing is supposed to be the case. So, if you are a new chief, you shouldn't think that by virtue of you being a chief, in this present dispensation, 21st century, can annul anything your ancestors have done. That is, thinking you are autonomous and thinking you can go against the allegiance and the commitment and the covenant your ancestors have sworn years ago. This chief, the Abuantem Hene Nana Kwakwakudua, who is no more a chief now because he has been destroyed, had an issue with the land, you know, the, the sale of land. And for your inf information, majority of the chiefs who have been destroyed from their community were engaged in land issue. Either they forcefully took lands from the, the very indigenous they are chiefs over or they sold lands for huge sums of money or gave lands to people to be used for things that does not conform to the dictates of the Ashanti kingdom. Now, this particular chief... Uh, you know had a litigation on the land and brought the case to the king the king told him to have patience because he was going to look I into it and this man went behind the king and sold the land and that is tantamount to a uh, gross insubordination gross insubordination especially when it c comes to land issue because the land belongs to the people and the chiefs are supposed to be the people who are to pro protect these lands for a perpetual lineage or handover to the next generation. So if you are a chief and you come and you go into the sale of these lands, you become a problem for the kingdom. The Otunfo saw it right and we strongly stand behind Otunfo in pursuance of this agenda of dealing with people, chiefs who sell lands. This is the breaking news we have for you from Menshia. This is Runa 360. We always learn by reminding you that don't abuse drugs because drugs will abuse you bye bye